hello friend welcome to my youtube channel today in this video i will show you how to install tomcat apache tomcat on rocky linux before installing and configuring apache tomcat we need to make sure that our system is up to date so it's just about to finish the updation for this you can run command dnf update or either you can run command yum update as well both commands will run or you can say both command will support it on the rocky linux the next task is we need to restart the system so let's restart the system all right our system is updated successfully okay the next task is let's create a host name All right, run this command. Now the host name is showing. The next task is to install the Java. For this, run command. Okay, Java package is successfully installed. Let's check the version. So by using this command, you can check the Java version. Next task is we need to create a user Tomcat. This is a non-root user and we are not going to provide any shell to this user. And for this, we need to create user Tomcat, then need to create a group for Tomcat. And then we need to create a directory for Tomcat. So let's start. And the next command is We are not going to give any shell to this user. So we'll give bin no login. And the group is Tomcat. And the directory, target directory is opt Tomcat. And the user is Tomcat. All right our user is successfully created now okay now the next task is we need to download the latest apache tomcat package so let's visit the website of this tomcat here you can see the latest latest package for apache tomcat this one let's copy the link address wget and Now the package is successfully downloaded on our system. The next thing is we need to, okay, next task is we need to extract this uh, Apache Tomcat package and then move the file to the directory, destination directory opt tomcat. Okay, now let's run this command to extract the packages. As you can see, the packages are here now. The package is successfully extracted and moved on this particular folder. The next task is we need to change the ownership, the owner and the group of this uh, Tomcat directory. Right now it's uh, the owner and the group is root. So we need to change it 
this to tomcat for this run command ch own and the ownership is now is with the tomcat as you can see the owner and the group is changed to tomcat now next ask is we need to create the service for tomcat for this we need to create a file here with the name tomcat.service and here need to add the these entries here save this file and now let's now uh, reload the daemon and now let's check the service okay this is inactive right now let's enable the service and start the service now let's check the status okay our service is up now now the next ask is we need to open the port 8080 on a firewall as we all know this uh, tomcat apache tomcat is using port 8080 so we need to open this port on a firewall for this run this command and reload the firewall all right now the port is successfully open now as we can see the port 88 is uh, successfully opened on the firewall the next task is let's check the apache page uh, on our uh, web page okay as you can see the apache tomcat page is successfully showing on the on the chrome browser now if we click the server status it's showing access denied manager app access denied and the host manager access denied so for this we need to configure this uh, apache tomcat so that we can access these tabs all right let's first configure the tomcat user for this open this uh, file tomcat users.xml and at the end of the line here make an entry like this so i'm here i am enabling the role admin admin gui and the manager manager gui i'm giving for both these roles admin gui and manager gui i am going to uh, configure username as admin and password is rocky and the roles are here in this way you can configure the roles just save the file now the next thing is uh, as we all know by default uh, the tomcat can only be accessed from the local host so we need to configure tomcat so that we can access it from uh, the remote host as well for this we need to edit this file context.xml and we need to disable one line so this is the line we need to disable all right now this line is successfully disabled just save this file now we need to disable this the same line in this uh, for host manager as well the file name and the file name is context.xml save the file all right we successfully made the changes let's restart the tomcat service
now let's try to log in on the server status username is admin password is rocky okay so we successfully log in and let's try to log in on this manager app so here also we successfully log in the next is host manager user is same admin password is also same rocky and here also we successfully log in so in this way you can install and configure apache tomcat on the rocky linux server i hope you like this video if you like this video then please like and subscribe my channel thanks for watching